Hello guys, it's me again. Before anything else, a pleasant good day to all of you. In this video, we're gonna continue what we had started before, which is the computation for the compass error. So guys, without further ado, let's do it. Nice. Okay guys, uh, welcome back to our part 2 of our calculation for the compass error. And this is the part 2 guys. Okay, so let's start. Yes, compass error calculation. And here guys, we gonna go for the main finale of this calculation which is calculation for the deviation error and we're gonna need all this in order to come up with this little guy here which is the deviation error okay so for from the part one of our video which is the true veering which is 266 decimal 6 degrees Yes, we got it from our from our first video, which is the compass error calculation part one. And here it is. Okay, so two six six this one six degrees. Okay, and for the gyro bearing, yes, the gyro bearing, uh, we got it from yes, also from the part one of our video. The main data there, the first that we took okay then for this the true bearing and the gyro bearing they will be always subtracted okay so we come up with this 0 0.4 degrees and west and why west of course we have rules number one rule if the gyro bearing is bigger than true bearing gyro error is west like we have right now the number two rules if gyro bearing is lesser than true bearing then the gyro the gyro error is east okay so for now we have west and for the gyro course yes the gyro course from the data that uh, we have taken before from the first video yes the gyro course 118 decimal 0 okay so here it is if gyro error is east the name then add but if the name of gyro error is west then we subtract so we have west right now here so we subtract and the result is our true course which is 117 decimal 6 degrees and for the magnetic course of course from before which is 138 yes and here true course and magnetic course the result is standard error and we always subtract them the true course and magnetic course always subtract and the result is 20 decimal 4 and west and why it's west we have two rules again number one rule if magnetic course or MC is bigger than true course which is TC standard error is west number two rule if magnetic magnetic course is lesser than true course then the standard error is east so now we have west because our magnetic course is bigger than true course okay for the variation yes the variation uh, as for 
the newbies guys which uh, did not yet see the first video there I explained how I get this uh, variation from the available data from the this just check it out guys the first video okay 21.6 degrees west here we have rules in order to get the deviation here in this calculation here we always change the real name the real name of variation to its opposite name this is always guys always so this is our variation and this is its name which is west as the rule says we always change change the real name so if the real name here is west its opposite is east okay and the new name will use for the remainder of the calculation okay guys so the opposite name is east okay so here we have rules again number one rule if standard error and variation have same name then we add okay number two rule if standard error and variation have different name which we have right now we subtract so our name here the new name is east and our standard error is west so they are different name so we subtract and we get 1.2 degrees east and why east we just take the name of whichever is larger between the standard error and the variation okay and that's it so that's it guys for the computation for the deviation error and I hope guys that this video help clear your mind about the confusion for this computation that we marine dig officers need to do every day or I mean every watch and guys I suggest that you just watch it again and again for you to master it especially the rules and so guys don't forget to click the subscribe button together with the bell symbol button so you will be immediately notified when I uploaded a new video most especially that I am on the process now of making a video for LOP and line of position by the use of by the use of celestial bodies so-called sun okay guys until then see you on my next video